Hello there. It's me MD, with you here, on Saskiano. And here we are again with a new After Effects tutorial. Today if you are interested to know how to refine your composition with effects in Adobe After Effects, this is the best place to be. So stay tuned. Now, if you want to follow along with me. In this tutorial, I am working with the After Effects project file. UFO, part 5 project. You will find this project file, with the media, associated with this tutorial. You can download it from the link down below, in the description box. After downloading the project file, just double click on it to open it in After Effects. Now that we've added the fake handheld camera effect to our scene, we're ready to add some motion blur, some more camera lens blur, and some global color correction and grain in order to really make this effect convincing. Let's start with motion blur. Don't be confused by the blur category in the list of effects. That won't do what we need here. We want geometric motion blur, which After Effects can calculate based on the motion of the elements in the composition. To turn it on, you use two switches, and you need to make sure your timeline is showing switches by clicking the toggle button down here. First, there's the motion blur switch for the layer. Second, there's the master motion blur switch, which needs to be turned on, for the comp right here. Now that both switches are on, if you drag the time indicator around, you can see the blur is being added, as the background layer whips around the scene. Next, we want to add a few more of effects, to really sell the scene, and for that, we'll use an adjustment layer. To create a new adjustment layer, go to Layer drop down menu and choose New, and then choose Adjustment Layer. Or you can use the keyboard shortcut Ctrl Alt Y here on Windows, or Command Option Y on Mac OS. As in Photoshop or Premiere Pro, an adjustment layer is basically an invisible control layer that lets you apply effects to it and those effects will apply to everything that's visible below the adjustment layer in stacking order and the adjustment layer will be especially useful in this comp since we only want to calculate the effects on this smaller 1280 by 720 window Whereas if we applied an effect directly to the 4K background layer, it would be much slower to calculate since that background layer is so large. So the adjustment layer is more convenient. And in this case, will save us a lot of render time as well. The first new effect to add will be our friend of the camera lens blur effect. I will initially set the blur to zero. But during the first pan to the UFO, I want to quickly animate a blur effect to help simulate the autofocus of the camera. Notice there's a stopwatch in effect panel to turn on animation, just like on the timeline. So I will animate from zero up to 40. and back down initially. And then, at the end of the timeline, I'll go from 0 up to 15. And back to 0. Now here's a cool tip. Once you've set keyframes for a property tapping the U key, will reveal just the animated properties in the layer. Now you can fine-tune 
For example, I'll select just this one keyframe and copy it. And paste it a few frames later. To hold the camera out of focus for a few extra frames. Another cool thing about the camera lens blur effect is that it allows you to amplify the highlights of the scene which is a useful trick for unifying the brides of different composited elements. A value of 10 will help the moon look a little more luminous, as well as pumping up the city lights. You'll have to bring down the threshold a little bit in this scene to reveal it. In fact, during our final zoom, we can animate the gain up to say 50. To simulate the camera red exposing itself after zoom, applying a uniform color wash to the whole scene will further help the different elements to look like they belong together. Let's add a photo filter. Set to a cooling preset. with a density of about 20% to help with that. Now let's add a subtle layer of additional noise. And make the amount of noise maybe 10%. Just to add a tiny bit of chatter. That'll help stitch everything together. And finally, add the audio file that are provided to help sell that. This is a real event being witnessed by off-camera civilians. After you save the project from the file menu, save, or you can use the keyboard shortcut. Here on Windows, it will be Control S and on Mac OS, Command S. And now it'll be ready to export a finished movie. And now here we go. We are done for today. Do not forget to subscribe, like, share, and leave your comment down below in the comments section. See you next time in a new tutorial. And if you want to learn more about After Effects, take a look here on the channel. We have a lot of tutorials. And if you are interested in Photoshop, Illustrator, Premiere Pro, and Design, take a look at our first channel, Everything PS. You will find its link down below in the description box. Goodbye.